Dynasite is a more predictable exam in terms of the date of the exam, the you know the pattern of the exam, the duration of your MD or MS. So uh, hey guys, I'm Dr. Shivam Arora and I'm currently doing my DM Cardiology from AIMS New Delhi and I've secured rank 9th in NEET PG 2020 exam and then rank 2 in INISS exam. So today we'll discuss the detailed strategy for INSET May 2026 exam. So if you start today, you will be having 5 months for INSET May exam. And INSET is per se a better exam because you will get into central institutes. The curriculum is more predictable. Your juniors will come at a specific duration and the exam is more predictable. The process of counseling is more predictable. So it will ease out your life. Also, the competition is little less because, you know, the uh, number of people appearing for INSET is much lesser than the NEET PG as well as the number of seats are increasing. So you can definitely, definitely give it a try. Also, when you have NEET PG 2026 counseling, you have two counseling for two And the pattern is almost same and the syllabus is almost same as NEET PG. The only difference is the the way in which they ask the questions. So I said people tend to ask the question in a more clinical way or you know they tend to increase the length of the question. But the content is almost almost same. Some of the new updates are being asked. The rest all of the things are same. Uh, in uh, case it is also more predictable because the number of PYQs that are repeated in INSET is much more than the NEET PG. Because a very few group of people is making the exam. So Discussing about the exam strategy for the next five months. First thing is ki, uh, I hope you have complete notes complete kar li honge, whether from the offline coaching, from the online coaching or whatever source you are using. You have determined it at least. Or if not, try to complete it by the end of this December. After that, you will have to divide the next five months into two months, two months and one month each so that you can revise thrice at least. So. Uh, some people say quality of revision matters, but I believe that quality matters, but quantity also matters because if your revision is good enough, but if you won't revise multiple times, you will tend to forget the volatile stuff. So quantity also matters along with the quality. Apart from it, do the previous year questions because previous year questions are a gem in any set. It has a more chances of getting repeat. Also try to do the previous year questions of need PG as well and try to read the explanation of all previous year questions of INS at first step of last five years. But from start giving GTs as early as possible. I would say if you first reading complete, okay, start giving GTs. Because end my time will not And the peculiarity of this INS at paper is the, uh, the way they, in which they ask the question. So if you won't give a lot of GTs, you won't get an idea. Also the negative marking is much more. So you'll get to know how much questions per se you have to attempt because it's a very individualized thing. So you have to know okay, at which number of questions you are producing the maximum output. So that is the most important thing for INS that you should start giving GTs as early as possible because most of the people what they think is he needs me jada seats hai. So even if they are preparing for INS along with the need PG, they tend to give the GTs of need PG only and that is where they are lacking. So try to give the INSET pattern GTs as early as possible. Even if you are preparing both for the NEET PG and INSET, give alternate GTs of NEET and INSET till INSET May and then you will be having the time for NEET PG. Now another thing is the 20th copy. So volatile things are being asked in both NEET PG and INSET. So there is nothing like key. you have to read the volatile things for NEET PG only because INSET also asks the volatile stuff. So you have to make a 20th copy that will help you in your INSET as well as NEET PG exam. And in the end, stay confident, stay relaxed. If you are a fresher or a dropper, you'll be having three consecutive exams like INSET May and then NEET PG and then INSET November. So if you'll stay calm and just keep studying, you'll definitely, definitely clear any of the exam. And it won't make much of a difference, whatever exam you have to. All the really best.